gitu. In our previous uploaded video, we were able to find the derivative of algebraic functions using the product rule. But in this video, we will solve the same problem with the application of logarithmic differentiation and we will find out kung ano ang pinakamadaling solution. Tara, let's go over to my slides. This is the solution of the problem that we solve using the product rule wherein there's also a given 3x minus 2 square and the quantity of 2x plus 1 raised to 3 and there's corresponding solution and its final answer. So we we'll make use of this problem also to solve or applying the logarithmic differentiation. So we will find dy, dx, or y if y is equal to 3x minus 2 squared plus 2x plus 1 raised to cube. So we have here the solution. Uh, we will copy the same problem. So we have y is equal to 3x minus 2 squared and 2x plus 1 raised to cube. So what we will do first here is to uh, get the, or we will take the uh, natural logarithm of both sides of the equation. So we have ln of y is equal to ln of 3x minus 2 square and 2x plus 1 raised to cube. Rewriting I've been given, so we have ln of y is equal to ln of 3x minus 2 square and 2x plus 1 raised to cube. Now, if you take notice of the right-hand member of the equation, so we have ln of these uh, two variable, we will apply the uh, what we call the uh, property for the logarithm of a product, wherein the formula becomes ln of mn is equal to ln of n plus ln of n. So we will apply it here on the right-hand member of the equation. So we will write ln of y here is equal to this one is m so we have ln of 3x minus 2 square and then we copy the plus sign here and 2x plus 1 raised to cube happens to be n so therefore we can write that as ln of 2x plus 1 raised to cube now we will make use of the property for the logarithm of a power since uh, the right hand member of the equation again contains the power of 2 and the power of 3 so applying it here on the right side so we have ln of y is equal to so applying the formula we have ln of p so p is the exponent and 2 is the exponent and 3 is the exponent so we have 2 no, 3x plus 2 uh, 3x minus 2 plus applying it again so we have 3 ln of 2x plus 1 raised to cube then after that we will differentiate the equation both sides so what we will do first is to copy the left hand member and the right hand member of the equation and differentiate it so we will place d all over dx here d all over dx here simplifying so we have uh, the left hand member is equal to and since we have 2 and 3 here happens to be the constant so we will place 2 before the derivative symbol so we have 2 d all over dx ln of 3x minus 2 plus 3 d all over dx long of 2x plus 1 square since we do not have enough uh, space here to write the solution we will make use of the other slide or the upper part of this uh, slide okay so we have here the same uh, equation now if you take a look at the uh, left hand member and the right hand member of the equation it contains ln ln and ln so the variable beside ln happens to be the u. So we have this formula to be to be uh, utilized. So applying this formula, so we have this as 1 all over u, so that is 1 all over y, and then the derivative of y is d all over dx is equal to 2. And 3x minus 2 happens to be u, so then therefore applying 1 all over u, so that is 1 all over 3x minus 2, derivative of u with respect to x, which is 3x minus 2, the derivative of 3x is simply 3x, so multiply it by 3, plus 3. And then we have ln of u, so that, that becomes 1 all over 2x plus 1, and then the derivative of u with respect to x, which is 2x, happens to be 2. And then simplifying, so we have 1 all over dy dx is equal to 2. Multiply by 1 by 3, so that is 6 all over 3x minus 2. Plus, copy the plus sign here. 
and 3 times 1 times 2 so we have uh, 6 all over 2x plus 1 rewriting the given at the upper part again so we have uh, this as 1 all over dy dx 6 all over 3x minus 2 plus 6 all over 2x plus 1 now if you take notice on the right side of the equation we have two fraction wherein there is a no common denominator so we will get the least common denominator or LCD so the LCD of the two fraction simply is simply 3x minus 2 and 2x plus 1 we have the LCD here what we will do is we will divide the LCD by uh, the denominator of each fraction but before that we will copy the 6 here and the plus 6 here and dividing the LCD 3x minus 2 by 2x plus 1 by 3x minus 2 so we can cancel 3x minus 2 3x minus 2 and the remaining term would be 2x plus 1 we will place it here 2x plus 1 and then the LCD 3x minus 2 and 2x plus 1 divided by 2x plus 1 we can cancel 2x plus 1 and 2x plus 1 so we the remaining term would be 3x minus 2 simplifying the equation now becomes 6 multiplied by 2x that happens to be 12x and then we have 6 times 1 so we have a positive 6 and then copy the plus sign here 6 times 3x so we have 18x and then we have uh, 6 times negative 2, so we have negative 12, divided by the LCD 3x minus 2 and 2x plus 1. Then simplifying or combining similar terms on the uh, numerator, so we have 12x plus 18x, so that is equal to 30x. 6 minus 12, and that is equal to negative 6, divided by... 3x minus 2 and 2x plus 1. Then simply retain the left hand member which is uh, 1 all over y dy all over dx. Since we are after for dy all over dx okay, or y prime, we will get rid of the y variable here by multiplying both sides of the equation by y. So then therefore, uh, the left hand member is dy all over dx equal to and then factor 30x minus 6, it happens to be 6 5x minus 1 divided by the LCD and multiply it by y. Now, uh, replacing y with the uh, given equation which is 3x minus 2 square and 2x plus 1 cube, this becomes uh, dy all over dx is equal to this quantity multiplied by the given equation. So we have 3x minus 2 square and 2x plus 1 raised to cube. And then simplifying, we have 3x minus 2 square divided by 3x minus 2 we can cancel 3x minus 2 the remaining term would be 3x minus 2 and then we have 2x plus 1 raised to cube divided by 2x plus 1 so we can cancel that and the remaining term would be 2x plus 1 raised to square multiplying the remaining four terms and that would be the final answer so this is it so multiplying it so the final answer dy all over dx is equal to 6 3x minus 2, the quantity of 2x plus 1 square, and 5x minus 1. So that would be our final answer.